The punk rock that Johnny Lydon pioneered in the 70s came back in full force this year. So did a lot of other classic styles. Lounge music from the likes of Tony Bennett and even medieval chants from the Benedictine monks of Santo Domingo de Silos. Here's some of the other acts that broke through in a big way this year. You gotta keep them separated. Punk was back thanks to young bands like The Offspring. And despite wide media attention, they blew off the press in pure punk fashion. The band Hole started to break through in early 94 with the release of the audacious Live Through This, but the buzz was silenced by the tragedies of Kurt Cobain's suicide and the drug overdose of Hole's bassist Kristen Pfaff. Following months of rumors and scrutiny, Love and the band surprised everyone by launching a tour. When we play, it's like the Courtney thing goes away and, and we know we're hot. Punk, hip-hop, blues brat Beck was the most popular loser this year, and he coped riding the wave of success with Sir Slacker irony. Beck, uh, your song Loser, man, it's a smash hit. How do you feel about that? It's like uh, surfing and some oil spillage. Noisemakers weren't the only hit makers this year. Pure and simple music made by singer-songwriters made stars out of earnest unknowns, such as Lisa Loeb and Counting Crows. It's real emotional. It's real heartfelt. I think, you know, it means a lot to us. I think that carries over to people see that. All I wanna do is have some fun. For women like me that are very, very lyric driven, it's, it seems to be sort of